So this is everything you need to wrap Willow's leg. Um, two Telfa pads. These are generic ones, so they're just pure ed. So you're gonna take that and just put a glob of Neosporin on it. And then she has two little dings, so you're gonna do it with two of them. So another glob of Neosporin. And then the other things that you need are You're gonna put those on the wound and then vet wrap and then elasticon on the top and the bottom and then white tape on the elasticon to keep it from unraveling. And then over here. And the easiest way to do it is to tie her tail in a knot. And then I'm pulling off the standing bandage and I'm just gonna put the first aid bandage on her for going home. And she should be okay. I don't think it'll spill up. Oh, I forgot my bandage scissors. Can, can you run in and grab the bandage scissors for me? Okay. Rosie's grabbing the scissors so I can get this off. So I'm going to sit here. For, oh, Rizzo says, here, may I be of assistance? <laughs> I love first aid. I eat the bandages. You are a funny dog. You gotta be careful. Not everybody's like Dewey. Thank you. Rizzo, get out there. Rizzo, come here. bottom part was a little bigger and it's taking a little longer to heal. The top one's looking really good. Would you grab me some gauze, Rosie? Yeah. It's in that top shelf of the first aid cabinet. Okay. It's not as helpful as you think it is. Right though, no. Okay. And I'm just wiping the goop off. You don't want to scrub it too much with betadine or disinfectant because that'll actually inhibit the healthy tissue coming back. Non yep. Thank you. No, that should be good. So this is just clean gauze or you could use um, some clean water on the gauze to kind of scrub it up and clean it. sure while you're doing this that you're always standing to the side of her just in case she were to pick up her leg and stomp it at a fly or something so that you don't get kicked by accident so I'm always to the side and I'm always squatting I don't kneel down because it would be too hard to get out of the way quickly if I needed to It must smell amazing because the dogs think it's great. <laughs> and then I take each gauze pad and put the antibiotic ointment over the wound, steal it back from the dog. I know, I'm sure it stings a little so though. No, Rizzo. All right, so then take your vet wrap and you want to place it on the wound, wrapping it around, and it stretches quite a bit, but you do not want any stretch in it as you're covering the, um, let me see, let me see, while you're wrapping because stretch um, this close to the skin can damage the tendons. So you want to make sure that you leave it loose enough with no wrinkles.
start at the front and wrap to the outside and then around the back. And then once you have the whole thing covered, again, just laying the bet wrap on there, you're not going to do any stretch. And bet wrap sticks to itself, um, bet wrap or coflex. that down, that'll hold still, and then you take your Elasticon, which is a stretchy tape, and you want to tape the top and the bottom of it so it stays clean, nothing, no dirt goes in. And again, just laying it on without any stretch in it. And just press it on there, and then I'll do the bottom as well. Elasticon is on. Take your white tape. And this isn't absolutely necessary. I just add this on so I don't have to change the bandage as often. Go around again. Again, this one does not stretch, but you do not want to pull it tight. You just want to lay it on there. And that will keep the Elasticon from coming unstuck. And that's all you need to do, and then change that every two days. Thank you.